Hey, welcome back to Immersive Playthrough with Lost Henrik. I finally sorted out my OBS so I can easily switch between stuff like so. How cool is that? I've been lazy, um, but finally stop being lazy. Okay, so here's our map, basically. This is what's going on. I've drawn it out really nicely now, fixed up the yucky bits, reshaped the continent. Let me just pause the game. Uh, reshaped our uh, drawing of the continent and stuff. I shifted this over to the left correctly where it should be. Let me just use like this so you can see where I'm pointing. This whole continent I've shifted over to the left. I've also shifted this one over to the left, reshaped it a bit because I've been sailing back and forth here the last episode and I know a lot about what's going on. I filled in the colors, I did the water. I've kind of done a gray outline here where I'm just speculating what's going on. Same with over here. I don't know the shape of this continent. I'm just assuming it's something like this, but it could be anything. Uh, but the gray outline indicates that. We have a good idea what's going on here. I've kind of compressed this island. I've squished it together a bit over here because we found out on our way back from the mountain on one of the trips, we just walked into Elder. Um, and he wasn't far at all from the mountain. So previously it was like over here. I've kind of shoved it to the left, which I think makes a lot more sense. So yeah, it's looking much better. This is just a speculation. It's plain here. I don't know for sure. I don't know if I'm going to go over there though. I don't have a reason to unless like Yag's there or something. This I'm still... I left the arrow here because we don't know about this island still. Um, but yeah, we've got a huge plains here, we've got some swamp, more plains there. And I think when I start adventuring, which probably won't be today, because I'm going to be building today. Um, I will start a new map, because this file is getting too big, and it's having problems opening it and stuff, and it's being a bit of a prick. So I think I will start a new map, and put this in a picture frame somewhere in my room. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but um, you get the idea. Oh, so yeah, the little lake there. Yeah, it looks good, I think. Though. Very tidy now. This is still a bit warped, the start area, but I don't really care. We'll just deal with it. It's close enough. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the update on the map. Save that bastard. Let's go back to Valheim. There we go. And let's play the game. We are here with a thousand stone. So. First thing we should do is rest. If it lets me. Come for eight, all right, good. Probably hoe out the area. I can always add grass back later. Need to cook some wolf meat. Okay. Where exactly do I want to build? I kind of like this back area as like a farm or something. I might have my farm there and the actual house structure whatever I'm gonna build is gonna be here in this elevated area um, so I think that's what I'll do okay we are actually gonna run out of food at some point I can always just eat cloud berries instead of soup <clears throat> I should use the cloud berries while I'm building and the soup while I'm getting stone that would be smart to do probably Oh. Ah, I was looking for that, right. I thought I had less stone than them before. Well, there you go. It was in a box. There you go. Okay, so... I'm kind of tempted to just go out and get more stone first. There's the sun. It's like midday. 
Where's my beloved car, my precious, my friend? Here we are. I have an iron pickaxe somewhere, which I won't be able to repair until I set up my base. I think I'll just go out and grab some more stone though, real quick. Um, yeah. If I want to be really spastic, I can bring a forge with me in my pocket to repair the iron pickaxe. Which is not actually the stupidest idea ever, although it does need to be level 2, so... Ugh. Probably... I can do, though. I can do that, though, because everything's going to go in the, uh... Cart, anyway. 4 coal, 4 stone. Hopefully that's enough stuff. I'm gonna go break some pillars and pull the stone around with me in the cart, essentially. Did I have coal anywhere at all? What about this boat? Did I bring any coal at all? Any coal? Is there any coal? I have a leech trophy. Surely I have coal somewhere, right? 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 Surely I brought coal. Come on. Don't be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me that I have no coal at all. I brought a freaking leech trophy. How could I not bring coal? What's wrong with me? Oh my god. I'm so bad. I'm actually so bad. I didn't bring coal. Well. Wow. Unbelievable. Alright. I'm terrible at the game. Unbelievable. How can I bring a leech trophy and not any coal? That doesn't make sense. Anyway. It's not a big deal. Uh, now I have to wait for that like an idiot though. While daytime and rested ticks down. Not really what you want. I want to at least repair before I go out. I think I'll just take it with me. Maybe I should just set up a forge here. And come back and repair if I need to. <clears throat> Topping this up since I'm waiting around anyway. I think I'll just set up a forge here. Taking it around with me seems a bit stupid. I have an antler pickaxe. Can I set up? I don't want to set up too much, dude. I'm going to have to destroy it to build. Oh, here we are. That's what I needed. Right. Um, cart. Right. Cart. 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 Now I can get wood for that later. Okay, let's find some big stones. These guys hopefully won't bother me. Okay, this is shaped... ...differently than I speculated, but that's alright. I could also hit the copper, because copper's good too. It's definitely a thought. I could cook it while I build. I can do that later, I think. I don't want to go too far, that's the thing. I could knock down some towers. Although, that's a lot of effort. We left cloudberries at home, so let's remember to pick more up. Oh, we got a pillar right here. That's excellent. I needed dehyde too. 
I don't think I'll have a huge amount of stone. I'll take whatever these idiots are willing to deliver though. See that? That freaking sneak attack, dude. He flew around me. Flank attack. Wow. What a gamer. <laughs> Alright, so yes. This should be about 300 stone, and then... I don't know. I kind of want like 2,000 stone, so I can actually go big with the building and build something really nice. I'm gonna build like a fort thing with a tower. Like a, I don't know, medieval keep or something. It's hard to explain. I've got an idea though. I've looked at some inspirations and stuff. But it is going to be an original build. Copying off videos. I don't, know. don't really need to do that. If you build enough, you'll develop your own style of building. If you have like any sort of creative spark in you. And just incorporate like ideas and bits and pieces from other build and then make something on your own really amazing if you really get into building. Building is like the best part about this game, you gotta do it. A thread doesn't like building, but he actually still builds quite a bit of cool stuff. He just doesn't show us. Okay, now this will come crashing down just like a silver node, hopefully. It's already getting night timey. Oh. Yeah, man. it's my fault for stuffing around so much. Hey, look at that island over there. It's got a swamp, looks like more planes, all sorts of goodies. Problem here is I can't avoid clipping the ground with the stupid pickaxe, I think. Guys, why are you coming after me? I'm not breaking your biome, this is the goblin's biome. Bam! Whee! I just got 9 minutes arrested though, so... Should be fine. <clears throat> oh, come on, water. Don't be like that. Yeah, it's a good amount. I'm gonna have to dive to get what was lost. Oh, did my stone really sink to the bottom of the ocean? Actually, heaps of it did. Wow, look at that. That's depressing. I don't think it's too much, though. At least I got that chunk of 27 there. Let's see. No, that's like 400. That's... F yeah, that's 400. No, I think I got, like, all of it, just about. Ahem. <clears throat> Night spawns. I mean, I can take them. I wonder if I can take out a Lox. Probably because it's normal mode. Why is it running around like a spastic? Ow. Stamina. God, I hate being wet. I really hate being wet. Okay, we kind of have to clear these bastards out. Yeah. 
Just barely. Whoa. I flew. I'm gonna dodge that. Oh, the cart. What's going on? Did I leave the workbench or what? Where's my stone? We can just go through the night. I mean, it's fine. I can bring some black metal with me home. I must have left the workbench there. I'm genuinely confused. Yeah, I did. I need to repair the cart. Take the meat as well. Survive on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you guys are killing the cloudberries. Wow, it's a free for all. Me versus skeleton versus grey door versus goblin. Hell yeah. It's a party. Ow. Not sure where you think you're going, bro. Yeah, we'll take the black metal. The coins... I don't know. They can get stuffed. Well, I can't hold. Okay, next. There's another pillar up ahead. <clears throat> what are we stuck on? A bush? Uh oh. Didn't see you. This is dangerous. Grey Dwarfs, cover me, guys! Oh no, don't get in my way when I'm trying to kite! Yeah, get him! Oh god, two one stars. Oh my god. moved out of it. You missed. Jesus. Coming after me, dude. Tough. Hello. Oh. Get 
chopped by the sword master. Maybe lost, but I can still swing a sword, you bastards. Excuse me, can you go home? Wrong biome. Dude. Take the cheap shot on this jackass. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, he's laughing now. Alright, punks. Let me get my stone in peace. I should have upgraded this thing to level 2, maybe. With all that iron I had. Yeah, I didn't think it would be like this. Oh, the safety inspection team is coming. Ah, oh, whoops. So who wants to actually attack me? Ow! <laughs> so useless. Stands there and let him lets him smack him with the torch. <laughs> All right, dude. I don't mind. This is a nice black metal collection for later. I do have the dragon tears, so I can literally make black metal stuff once I set up my base. So I'm just being productive here, doing some multitasking. What I should do is rest in here. Maybe stop mining for a sec. Now yeah, I should have level 2 my iron pickaxe at durability's sad. Maybe break this one and go home. Card will almost be full anyway. Depends how efficiently I can do this. Need to not split damage on the ground. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much stone I'm gonna need. Like, it could be 2,000, it could be 4,000, it could be 6,000. I don't think it'll be 6,000, but. Yeah, if it's gonna be like another 2,000 after what I've already gotten, <clears throat> I'll still build it, but I will upgrade my own pickaxe. So I can do a longer expedition. Hey, this is crap. Splitting damage, I'm just gonna do this. Good. Yeah, see, it doesn't even do that much less. Antler pickaxe is so giga chat, dude. This thing is like infinite durability, because it can just repair it anywhere. That's nice. I can just quickly. Fix my stamina. I'll try this here. It's not splitting anything. With the ground at least. There's a lesson for you guys, never throw out your antler pickaxe, or at least keep one anyway. It's so good. I can probably 
be more efficient and yeah, not split with the ground. Might even do a couple hits of this. Okay, must be this bit. Break. Come on. They tend to say. Oh. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought it was there because the ground was higher originally. I accidentally pickaxed the ground. Oh, I've got like another 800 or something. So that's pretty cool. I'm carrying so much crap. Yeah, we should just go back. We're full, dude. Wow. Fourteen black metal and uh, let me see, three hundred, three hundred, two hundred, eight hundred stone. Yeah, it's pretty good though. Um, that way. Alright, garbage delivery on the ground. Might get a bit more stone from those idiots. Kind of need to avoid that. Are some stones over here though? Double copper node. That is insane. Wow. 
Very productive little forest. Cool. Alright, thank you, world save. For the lag. Yeah, I might just mine the copper. Although it would look my area look make my area look horrible. If I have a giant hole in the ground, so I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe just mine the bit sticking out. I don't know. We'll see. I can get the troll to mine it for me, then I don't have to dig into the ground. That's an idea. Go away! Yeah, push. Good idea. Keep pushing. No, keep pushing. I need help. Push. It's not pushing. Push. Okay, screw you then. Got that pointy boy over there. Alright. Building supplies. Yeah. Let's deposit some of our crap. Is there anything I can stack here? <coughs> what about Gradle fires? Didn't I bring those over? Yeah, but they were full stacks. Okay, well I think we got enough to make a start. It was a short and productive little trip. I think I'd like to sleep. Maybe not then. I'd like to rest at the very least. Um, hopefully the fog goes away, otherwise I'll just sleep. Yeah, we'll start building. It might take two full sessions to build what I want to build, but yeah. First of all, this stuff needs to move right out the way. Um, all of this needs to go. Actually, it's all in the way, including this. spawning there. I'll set up the bed for when I do want to sleep. repair 
guys. Okay. We're clearing up. Yeah, it's clearing. Nice. Building time for real now. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we need a hoe, first of all. And a spot to repair my hammer. Jesus. This drives me insane, in case you haven't noticed. Okay, yeah, we do need a flatter area to work with, so... This will need to be pickaxed, apparently. Good for building. Okay, it's a pretty good square. Now let's put a bench of each type <coughs> in the uh, middle here, so I can just build freely. That's my metals. Alright. Oh. 
Okay, right, stone building, yes. I'm not sure why I'm so heavy, like... What's weighing so much? Um, okay, so how big do we want this thing to be? Fairly big. I can go up to here. be able to finish it today, but we can make it functional at the very least. So we can use it. Yeah, these bastards take up so much stone. to go in one, that's the thing. for the boxes, but we can still see them, kind of, so. Got one more this way. Oh, come on. Alright, sleep time it is. If you want to rain, do it now, before I freaking start building the wood part of the house. Thank you. Okay, it did indeed do it now. Alright, sure. Get it over and done with. What the hell? Yeah, despawn you punks. Right, the knight spawned skeletons because bone mass is dead. Probably driving them insane. Oh! <laughs> what? this to be too small. I don't want it to be too big either, obviously. But I think it should be at least a minimum of three big blocks wide, like that. Um, so the idea is I'm then going to have it go like needs like enough space inside. You see how fast it's chewing through my stone. <laughs> it's so painful. Need to repair the hoe. With this very covered workbench. Well how far can we go this way? Because we can only go so far this way. I think my actual like lighthouse segment that goes high is going to be here because this is like near the water, more visible. I kind of have to do that. Oops. Uh oh. 
boxes are not too happy with me. <clears throat> we can probably go like here. No more than that. So how much does that give me? Because we one, two, three. Four. Oh my god. Ripstone. Alright. Five and a half. I can have like a small doorway. Interesting. Or I could just go five. And take out this. Oh no, this is six. I can't count because I'm an idiot. Huh. Okay, I got it. Oh, this is a good size. This is actually how I want it. do that but we'll do yeah maybe just a back door like that it's just a back door <coughs> now we're gonna need to use iron here because this bit's gonna go tall the rest of it will be pretty simple. But it does mean I need to go this way a bit as well. Yeah, I'm expecting like 4,000 stone. There's no way this peewee amount that I have is going to be enough. That might be enough on that axis. The rain is gone. Great. One, two, three. Uh, we should measure the outer one. One, two, three, four, five, six and a bit, wasn't it? Yeah, it was six and a half. Now, it doesn't have to be a perfect square. I could make it shorter or wider. Uh, it's six right now. really easy to build because I have I have it on the axes I can do like terrain walls if I really want like here for example yeah A real freaking fog. Why not? That's cool. Pretty later. <clears throat> but yeah, we can go one more out.
cool. Uh, yeah, it goes in like that, right? Yeah, right, 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 right. Not gonna build the whole walls. Don't have the stone for that, but I can get the foundation at least. there to refill my stone supply. Alright, Mr. Bush, you have to go. That needs to go as well so I can hold two stacks. So you can tell by the terrain orientation, obviously we're building on north, south, east, west axes because of the way the terrain, because I can make terrain walls, right? You can only do that on north, south, east, west, like on the axes. <clears throat> uh, the building itself gives me my sense of direction, which is pretty cool. Thing is, we're gonna need to do this on top as well. It's gonna be a fairly expensive build. <sighs> yeah. Like I'll probably leave most of the walls kind of open and just work on making like the front and the living space look nice. Because ripstone. So that's 500 there still, and I have, right, that much. <coughs> Alright, so if we're living here, yeah, we need to make sure the ground is fully risen, and then we need a forge, and we need to do iron. I should move my forge here. I should also drop what I'm holding so I can hold the forge. Some my boxes. <laughs> I'll just do this for now with it. Can't be too exposed with stone walls, bitch. So yeah, go ham on the building. Cool. Okay, 
so. Uh, let me see. How do I want to do this? How big do I want my living space to be? It's going to basically be like a tower. One, two, three, four. Is four by f four too small? Yes, because the living space inside is like three by three. That's yeah, that that's nothing. Um Okay. Need to frame it out first before I <coughs> I wish I had the making yod for this dude. Cry. It's about five by five. Can I live inside that? If I make my stairs like this, then yes. Right, and you know, we go up. Like that. Essentially. six and that's also six I think so yes well, this will be the basement we can put whatever we want in there then it's gonna be like one level of stone no I might do two levels of stone because I'm using iron and then everything else above will be iron let's put the iron away for a sec and finish doing the floor it's gonna be like this Pause before I freaking lose some. Am I out of stone? Is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening. Okay, running out of stone. Still have 500. That's why I went and got another thousand. That's exactly why. Okay. I want to do it like this. There's a reason. So I can have a doorway to the wall here. Same with here. I have two entrances. Wait, it doesn't work like this though? Huh? Oh, right. Wait, what? Confused now. No, I'm just 
do it like that, that's fun. Oh yeah, then it clips into here. Yeah, but that's fine. It's that or they don't line up, but now we get the brick form. I'm gonna do my living space like a how like a brick form and then I'll use the large slabs for the basic part of it. I think that's fine. And yeah, back door to the wilderness here, essentially. We can chuck that in there. We'll have a big main gate. Doesn't really need to be anything fancy going on here. We can just slap down some walls now. Alright, be like that then. Oops. Oh. But yes, we will definitely need more stone. I could just shove it in, but I could also just do something like this as well. Make a nice big gate. I have like a rough idea what I'm doing, the rest of it I'm just going free of mind. Go away guys. They come out to brawl the skeletons in the night and then they piss off in the morning. then that's a perfect amount of space. Now what I plan to do on the sides is something like this, right? This is my idea. I've got a good idea for a nice looking pattern to do. You can do really cool stuff with these um, stairs and the pillars of course. And we wedge it in halfway and you get like a really nice architectural design thing going on here like that looks good yeah this probably needs to go because it's clipping that one can stay I like it and we'll do that around like the whole outside but that's gonna use a lot of extra stone because these bastards are eight each for some stupid reason they're smaller than the squares, but they cost more. Work that one out, will ya? Freaking stupid. There should be four. But alright, Iron Gate. Let's see how it is. Gonna make building a pain in the ass. Yes. And I don't know. I might decide to... Get rid of these and... You know, add... Increasing levels of detail. You know, we can have... Windows like that. I'm just gonna like, yeah, experiment with the ideas. You just gotta get creative and you can build some really cool shit. But maybe just something like that on each side. Yeah. Already that looks really good. Could do that all over the front as well. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... I'm not sure about this bit. This bit's kind of out of place a bit. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, then we make like this a tower and go up a bit higher than the rest of the wall. Got the IDs flowing. This is going to be like a basement. I'm not sure what I'll put here. Maybe storage. Easy to access. Then above, which will be here. Second floor. Um, is going to be probably the cooking area. It'll have stone floor. 
and then I think the f this floor will also be stone. And the third floor will stock with the stone, and it'll be um, wood for the fourth floor, and that'll be like the comfy sleeping zone. It'll be a really tall lighthouse by then. Should be able to build pretty darn high with iron. So, let's get started with the iron beams then. Right, that's too much, of course. <coughs> uh, you can piss off. I'm still holding too much. I'll well, screw you. I'm gonna have to wedge my iron in the stone, unless I want to have cringe looking pillars. So, yeah. Um. actually wedged into the stone. About this. Does that, touch, that does touch the ground. Right, and you see how it's like will actually go into the stone. I can cover that completely. Don't I want it in this bit? Yeah, I want it in the corner. Oh, the stupid forge doesn't reach. Right, I should move the forge closer. That's not too exposed, but that was very nice. So freaking stupid. Why am I... I want the iron pillar to be like right here. Now if I do this... It's actually fully covered. Yeah, that's, that's good. Go down now, it's going to be out of position. So what I need to do is that, and then that. Now, is that blue? Got to check if it's blue. If it's blue, it's touching the ground. It is. I'm not going to put iron around here. I'm going to put iron on the second floor to hold up further floors, I think. If I do like a box of iron on the around the second floor, it should support... A floor of stuff, in theory. I might not be able to go too high up, I'm not sure. It might take a lot of freaking iron. But yeah, I'm trying to cover it is the idea. There we go, blue, so you can stop complaining about structural integrity. Bastard. Now I just gotta do one more, which will be here. It looks yuck when the iron sticks out through your blocks, so I'm just trying to completely cover it. Oh crap. Don't break. Hold on, give me a sec. There we go. <coughs> okay, so yeah. That's working out good. Use 
using the knee snapping stuff that they added, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah, well, give me a Megan Yord, you bastards. How about that? So I'd like my... Oh. I would like my second floor to be... This height. Um, that height. How I'm going to build the walls, I've got no freaking idea. I'll use the same pattern as before. Uh, I will actually need to go like halfway up. That's a thing. Well, it will snap. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we can just do that. I think I can do a half length one like that. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Now this should be clipping into the floor, giving it maximum support. So I should be able to just build the floor straight away as soon as I finish this, because all of these touch the ground. I used to not understand how iron building worked, and used to just spam these iron beams everywhere, desperately trying to support my stuff, and then in the end it was like not even touching the floor um, back in the day anyway you get a strong iron frame and then the stone will support each other support itself kind of off of each of its neighboring blocks this is a pain in the ass because it's using a ton of iron um, I still have heaps more though so we're okay but yeah we might have to get more at some point I'm hoping um, I don't need much more than this frame, but I don't know. This is quite a bit of iron, obviously, getting used. If this doesn't fully support the stone floor, I'm going to be kind of pissed off. It's a lot of freaking iron, and that's beautifully placed. So let's try. Uh, as far as the walls go, I don't know. Let's think about it a bit, maybe. Do I want this bit to pop out? And tell you what, I do want. I want to do the thingy thing. Where do I want windows? That is a question I don't know how to answer. Don't rain. I need to cover my iron, actually. I want to see if this is just supported and I can just start placing iron now. What, what's the, what's the problem? Oh my god! Yeah, it's not breaking. It's green. Perfect. Oh, what? Oh no, we're okay. Thought it's gonna stick out. No, it's not sticking out. We're okay. Just barely, but we're okay. Great. This is the basics of how freaking iron works. Alright, fine. Yeah, stone is a problem. It's a construction site, guys. sure what I'm going to do about that.
Now let's see how well it actually supports additional blocks. Green, yellow, yellow. Good, good, good. I should be able to just completely fill this in because I have such a strong foundation. There. And these bits in the middle might go orange or whatever. Yeah, they are. Because they're bastards. But they're not breaking. So, okay, that was pretty easy, doing a stone ceiling. That's how you build a stone ceiling 101. Building with Henry. Yeah, now this bit gets a bit yikes because it's losing the support. So what I want to do is then build another level of stone on top. And I think I can. Uh, will I be able to do a stone roof is definitely a question. Um, you know what would be cool? Freaking spiral staircase and just put it in the middle, dude. You know how cool that would be? How it would really help the integrity of this as well. Does a spiral staircase cost? Oh, spiral stairs. Would be perfect in the middle here. Lots of copper and ink drizzle wood. Alright, so yeah. Black Forge. Okay. So not anytime soon. I have to go to the stupid Miss Lens. And do dungeons, but at least it doesn't take refined iter. Just need to do dungeons though. And chop wood. I could do like a crappy spiral ladder staircase. And turn it into a real spiral staircase later. So it's like, yeah, around this thing. Um, it would. Yeah, I think it would be like this if we were to do it with the stupid stairs. I just need it to be functional, it doesn't have to look good, I can make it look good later when I'm at this lens. Basically remove these blocks. Yeah, like I could do it like that actually. It totally works. Here's your Walmart spiral staircase in full form. <laughs> okay. Fill in the corners at least. At the very least, we should do the corners. Oh, it's 100% stable for sure, and we know where to go from there. It's gonna rain on me, is it? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. So here, we want room for the back door, so I don't know, maybe I'll put the pillar like that. 
instead. It's just a thought. No, it's not raining, it just wants to fog me up. Fair enough, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. Fair enough. Bastard. Oh, okay, I see. It needs to kind of go like that. Um, okay, Yeah, looks pretty good actually. Well, ripstone. It's over guys. It was fun while it lasted, but there will be no more building. But yeah, something like that around the outside would look really good. Yeah. Like how that looks a lot. Well, we better sleep. And we're gonna need to get more stone. I have a bit more. It's almost built enough to be like functional. Guys. Go away. Don't I have... Do I not have any stone in this at all? Where I had a stone box. But maybe not. Nope, I don't have any stone left. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of stone. Like a lot of stone. it out to line up with how I want this to look which is gonna have it like this dude which is gonna mean I need to do this floor again 
which is a ridiculous amount of stone. But yeah, the thing needs to be pushed out, so scratch that idea. I'll have to think of something else. <clears throat> Yeah, it's going to take a lot of stone, but, um, alright, let's shut up and get onto it then. Hard without portals, that's for sure. I'm thinking, should I take the forge with me? Dude, that's a f few slots less. Now, you know what I'll do? I'll upgrade my iron pickaxe real quick before I leave. Um, I need a grinding wheel, which I can make. The idea is we don't go and we don't repair, but we can get a lot more now. Now, I know there's plains and big rocks past this forest. I think there's also more that way. Shut up. Also have the copper. That can be like the last resort. That's slower. I could also break the structures. Not sure how I feel about that. I think you get about 200 stone from breaking goblin towers. of forest separating the plains and meadows. Alright, that's a pillar. It's a super steep river for whatever reason. Am I going to get mosquitoed? The answer is yes. Ketoville. Glad I'm wearing the root vest. Oh, we might have to break that too. Which I'm okay with doing. That is also a lot of stone. Yeah, we'll break the rock as well then.
Let's do a campfire. Because you can get resting to super duper fast regen your stamina. Look. Zzzt. Regen's really fast. I might like tunnel out the ground a bit. With this bastard. But then we don't have any clipping problems with the iron pickaxe. Stone. sort of builds I do in my casual playthroughs. <laughs> that world has like 600 days in it now. Storming, raining, or what? Raining. Uh, rip, rested, resting. Yeah, let's hit it all. That's it. Yeah. I don't think this build will take too long though, but yeah, two sessions. You can get stone pretty quickly if you do it like this. I'm gonna be swimming in it once this thing comes crashing down. Um, let's see. Can do this. Oh, it's not even clipping the ground, that's perfect. Really? Oh, this bit, yeah, of course.
Nice, nice, nice. There's a lot of rocks like right here. Thinking about that troll. What we really want is a log troll. So he would actually cleave all three rocks out, or at least I think he can hit multiple things at the same time. I might go get him. Need to protect him from mosquitoes. He'll be a bit back though. Is he even going to be able to get over this? Maybe not. Could get the stupid locks, so that's not as efficient. It's not gonna be golems in the mountain, sadly. <laughs> what? full of rocks. Come, my friend, to the construction site. Not really construction, the deconstruction site. Excavation site. Where are you going? This way. That's it. Righty, dude. Smash. as a troll. No, and then they walk off because they're freaking idiots. He hit two at the same time, that's actually pretty good. If he can do that. Why do they wander off though? What's this wandering shit? chat it and do both. Most efficient way to mine. Yeah, we'll just do both simultaneously. Definitely helping. Okay, 
calm down. Doing this because I only have so many pillars. Pillars are great, but I'm gonna run out of them soon. It's actually getting quite a lot though. He's slamming the stuff that's underground. Mostly. I'm not rested. Oh, that failed. Oh, God. Not easy to walk out of a Lox's attack. <laughs> Trying to conserve stamina because I'm wet, but ah. Uh... Yeah. This is really dangerous. This is really dangerous. He's doing good though, he's getting stone. Chomp. Chomp. hit it when it goes to wander off, like this. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'd really appreciate it if the rain would like stop. Um, let's see. I can't even hold that much more. I might as well just go back and come back for the other pillar. We can leave the workbench here. But really, I'm gonna hold like 200 more stone max. Which is only half of what the pillar drops. How much have I got actually? Can't count. Um, six, six, two, fourteen, seven hundred. Yeah, I'll need to do a few more trips, that's for sure. Eat the grey dwarf. Yes. Idiot, he had it coming. Not me, right? Not me, right? Right, right? Not me, right? Right, right? Why me? Why? Why? Why me? Why? Okay, guys. Everyone, wake up. We need help. Summon the forest. Ah, it's a monster! Quick, now's the time to escape. No! Okay, good. <laughs> Ching!
I don't think it's that bad farming with the locks, but it's definitely better with a troll. Log troll is ideal. Maybe I should just kill that troll so I can get a log troll to start spawning in. Pretty sure another troll won't spawn until that first one's dead. It's, I don't think it was a log troll. Oh, there's a pillar here. Oh no, that's a tower. Oh shit. Aggro that guy, and I'm going near more bastard locks. Doing this not rested is a mistake. I want to have a home that gives me 20 minutes of comfort. So there's no tar pits on this island, as far as I can tell. I need to sail to get tar. Tar will unlock a lot more comfort. Hot tub, darkwood furniture. Oh, these idiots are still here. How about that then? Yeah, avoid these bastard locks and no, there's a goblin there that's just running around smacking grey dwarfs. I'm actually okay with that. They deserve it. <laughs> Nearly home. I can see the fog. You are wet. Huh, what? Oh! What is all this ruckus, guys? Excuse me? Um... What the fuck? Don't just get away with that behavior. Poor freaking cart, dude. What the hell? There was definitely more. There we go. all this crap and I'm gonna end up with a giant trash pile need to build myself some freaking stairs to get up while encumbered and stuff would be nice. <sighs> Need more stone than that. This is gonna take so much stone. Oh my god! <sighs> right, 
back we go then. Hello? Stay away from me and my house. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's repair. Could even do a frickin' moat around this, it wouldn't be hard. What the? Ah! Um. Oh god. Berserkers and shamans? That's not fair! What the hell? Ah! Uh, I'm not ready for this crap, guys. Oh my god, it is a shaman and he's going for my house. No! I need to be quick. Nimble. Black metal farm, I guess. Where'd the bastard shaman go? I heard him. Oh, there. I don't have a bow, which really sucks. This is unnecessary as well, on top of this crap. Two berserkers! What the hell, they're throwing spears at me up here. Oh my god! Ah! Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm getting speed up the ass. Ouch, 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 ouch. Who's the spear guy? Where are the speed guys? That one. Alright, that guy's the bastard. Could wear the root vest. I prefer speed. Ideally. Why this event? I'm so under geared. Don't look like they're retreating to me. Well, some of them are. Huh! <laughs> what? This would be a serious issue if I had the difficulty turns up. <laughs> I'm so glad I did it. Holy crap. them if I c yeah they do less damage than a locks but not both at the same time please come on I'll focus this one that's what Fenris code is good for oops Finish with you bastards, come back. I 
once one's down, I can just parry and wreck the other one. Eat that. Quite a drop to totem, you know. <sighs> That's not easy in silver and iron gear, man. That event. Jeez. My 500 day playthrough, I don't think I ever had that event. to buff at this point. <sighs> um, excuse me, water. I need to rest. Okay. Guess the tide is just being a bastard today. Sixteen black metal. How about that then? <clears throat> All right. Um. Yeah. Let's collect another cart. Why is the fire going out? Holy crap. Um, try and collect 800 or whatever more stone. Another card of stone. Why is it going out? Trying to rest. Oh my god. Screw you. Oh my god, it won't even let me sleep. Thank you. Okay. Another 1k stone or whatever, and we'll just build as much as we can. I think it'll be about 6k total, realistically. Like a third each 2k of stone. That was around about 2k stone, maybe a little bit less. It was a lot though. Um, what the hell? Okay, if you want to run around, you can do that. I'm out of here, I've got better things to do, bro. Could... I'm not sure, we'll see how long this takes and how long that takes to build. I might go on a little adventure and get tar and smash some pillars on another island for easy fast stone. <clears throat> that might be the play. This is already quite far that we're going. We have to cart this back. Sailing a boat full of stone isn't too hard. Especially if it's a neighbouring island. But yeah, this is quite far. I might break that. Because that's like... way out of the ground. That rock. And of course we have this.
Yeah. Maybe break this boulder. I wonder if I can dig it out like it's a silver node. I wonder if that would work. Shattering it. Or whatever. If not, I don't think it'll be too bad. This might give, like, I don't know, 300, 400, could be good. so easily but dig from the bottom up and see how much we can see what we can do Get copper this way as well. I'd only do that if the copper's sticking right out the ground like this one is. So that was still a lot of mining, even though it was sticking out the ground.
Yeah, really, just the pillars are the best. Well, I'm hoping this shatters anything, so my efforts are worth it. I hope this has a lot of stone in it. We'll see what it yields. about all of the ground is gone now. Just that bit. I wonder if this will shut up. Uh, where's my freaking cart? I'm full. Oh, I didn't place a cart here. Right. Um. Have a stone lackage. Probably gonna attract lots of pricks. Dude, I need to finish my house. figure out where the hell it's still connecting to the ground. Eventually it'll start popping.
fuck. It's not good because it's clipping with the ground. Obviously. You know what, this whole thing might be too close. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a pain, dude. Not sure how worth this is. Need stone one way or another, though. No, it's not even budging. All these bits that are like. Definitely not worth it. Look good because it was sticking out the ground, but no, it's not good. This is what trying to collapse copper is like as well. Still standing up. Bye. Got no freaking idea, dude. It's really, really dumb. Could be this bit here. Now that's broken. Number four. Where's my bench? I need a fire. Well, it's like so close, I might as well keep going, right? It's not even budging, I think I have mine on top of it. Yeah, it's a waste of time digging it out, that's for sure. It's also floating. The whole thing is floating. Uh, let's see. Oh, rip pickaxe, this is definitely not worth it. 
Um, I'll never be able to do the other pillar. Probably here. Oh shit, that's right where my cart was. We'll fix that later. <laughs> it's just entirely floating. Very cool. Dude, this is like a lot of stone just sitting here. I want it. Hey, daytime, I think, maybe. Yeah! Alright, finally. Now my cart. Well, we can try just digging. Let's actually see how much that was. Curious. Okay, pretty good amount actually. Like a lot. Like maybe more than a pillar, almost. Kind of. Yeah, that's a full cart. Alright. Wouldn't say worth the effort, but not a complete waste of time at least. Nice. And there's still a pillar over there. Uh let me scout and see if there's something something worthy. See if there's something worthy. So, there's a pillar. Is there like another closed pillar? That's a far pillar. I don't know about close. Is that a west side mountain? There's two more pillars I can get there. <sighs> Maybe I start hitting the pillar and take back what I can. I'll probably get pretty angry at me, but that's too bad. What? 
sword just messes them right up, dude. <laughs> it's level 4, yeah. How are my skills even? <clears throat> uh, swords 38, it's not bad. Run 62, pretty good. Bows 24. <coughs> Bows will feel really nice at 30 or 40. Yeah, I thought the resting would go away as soon as I started pickaxing, so I waited until I got the buff. This one's going really smoothly, like I might be able to do it in this life of pickaxe. Might be able to, yeah, it's looking good. Not much left of my pickaxe, but there's not a lot left of this rock either, is there? Uh, might have to antler pickaxe a bit of it. Yeah, it won't kill me. Let's handle the pickaxe the rest of it. Okay, I'm gonna do something like actually intelligent though. Before this shatters and makes a huge mess everywhere, I'm gonna try and flatten out the ground. So that it doesn't all roll way down there. So I'm gonna raise the ground over here as much as I can. And then I'm gonna lower the ground underneath it, so it's kind of like a cup, almost. Shut up. There's shelter. Any shelter? No shelter? Fair enough. Uh, shouldn't all go tumbling down now, at least. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them. A bit. Pickaxe skills, let's go. Pickaxes are higher than swords. Holy crap, dude. Boom. Yeah, like none of it went tumbling down. Nice. That's really unfair and bullshit, if you ask me. Yeah, funny, isn't it? leave them for now. That Lox is a uh, freaking king of the hill, bro. Where's my cart? The hell did I leave my cart? food need to try and get home safely think one more trip 
How much am I? I'm bringing like a full cart, actually. That's 18 times 50, which is 900 stone. Oh god, that guy's gonna... Oh, you stupid deal. Okay, I have to kill these guys. They're kind of in the way. Why both at the same time? No! No, 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 that's not fair. At least break stone. Whoa, it's a pyramid. Of course a stupid goblin wants to join in, of course a second goblin wants to join in, because why not, you know. Shit, and he's hiding under the fucking Lox's butt. Holy crap. Spear. food, yeah. Crap. It's my food. Oh, you asshole! No! I've got no food. Using the cheese. We're doing the cheese. Because I don't want to die. Yeah, that guy did look like a one star. Freaking prick.
freaking hell, I'm gonna die. Nah. Full inventory and I had to open my inventory in a bad spot. How friggin' annoying. No, dude, I was doing so good. And then a one-star bastard joins in. Not fair. At least I didn't get myself into a disaster. Can it stop raining? Oh, God. Um... What the hell, dude? Why? What the hell? It shouldn't be able to spawn here. Oh my god, it's going to spawn camp me. Cloudberries growing here? Why not? Great. That's just wonderful. I can't even kill it with a fire because the fire would go out because it's raining. Well, speedruns have prepared me for this moment, I guess. Grey dwarfs want to help? Kind of. <sighs> wow. Two star. Okay. Oh, hey. in the forest but like right here somewhere <sighs> what a pain absolute bullshit the freaking locks getting in the way of the carts the worst thing ever Oh yeah, you're still here, aren't you, you prick? I really need to redesign that. Yeah? We got business to settle, don't we, bro? Uh, 
it's completely full. Three fifty stone here, right? Right. Is it not possible at, at all for me to hold that? I don't want to leave that stone on the ground. I know I'm going to lose it or forget it or something. So, yeah, I'd rather leave the black metal. I'm holding like a thousand stone now. That was painful. The mosquito camping my bed was very unnecessary. Oh! Wait, he went in the rock. What the hell? God damn bastards, dude. Oh, this bush. The bush that I can't even hit. Great mechanic, Iron Gate. Really great mechanic, I'm just stuck. Unless I hit the bush, which I can't hit. Like, why is this a thing? So stupid that you're perma floating like that. This is uh, something they should really address. So you can just get completely locked in single player. Where did you even come from? What? on me, yep. Of course it is. Come on! <laughs> yeah, get him, Grey Dwarf. Nice. Oh, my heart. Okay, sure. Whatever. Oh, he killed the mosquito. Game up. That guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nearly there. The swimmers.
All right. Need to cook. Desperately. Got wood. Give me a little bit of stone. Wolf meat in my cliffside storage. Yeah, I found a half one. All right. Oh. oh no. Yeah, here we go. <sighs> this nightmare will be over one day. Jerky. Ten of that left. Almost out of onion soup. This is much harder without portals. Without portals you could just portal back to base one and do your sleep, your cooking and all that crap. Um, and then portal back here all the way until this is finished. But no, you can't do that. So this is hard mode in another way. That's pretty challenging. The hell... Also, I want to use my bow, so let's just make some freaking arrows and stop being stingy, I think. Lost freaking bow levels that I need to regain as well. in one spot. I can make needle arrows. Would be good for these <coughs> jerk-offs. Uh, yeah. Use it on the locks as well. That's how you're supposed to play the game in planes anyway. <laughs> but I played the game stupidly. Uh, oh wait, I can't. It needs a level four workbench. <coughs> no, I'm not setting that up. No, 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 no. Oh, what arrows it is. What's going on over there? I'm just gonna sleep. Alright, well... How much stone is that? 1800 more? some already. How many piles is this? Uh, rough guess. Twelve, maybe? I only have fifteen hundred stone. I want to get what I left on the ground and get that other rock. And then come back home. And then we'll build. But this is pretty good. That's a good yield for sure. I don't have to finish the walls, I just want the main facility finished. Oh. Let the stamina fill up. 
Let's go this, this. I'll eat that in a minute. What? Oh. Use the last onion suit for this adventure and then eat cloud berries while we build. Seems like a good plan, I think. <sighs> Alright, well, we got everything. bunch of crap on the floor in the forest as well. Also, all this crap here from before. Collect that later. Let's use this. Let's do this. Stop sneaking. Let's go! Stay away. Black metal. Bone. Okay. Nighttime. War zone. Bastard locks is going to be trouble, probably. A bit late to realize, bro. Get with it, man. down and I will not say no to freestone get this on the way home. How much is there here? Five piles. Next session, we'll start going overseas. Oh, this pillar's got the triple locks protecting it. Oh, for freak's sake. Oh, dear. angry. Alright. Nice. 
Biting the rock. Good idea. Nice. Maybe he can farm this for me. You were not invited, sir. levels. Well, he farmed stone for me. Yeah, good idea. Move to a better position. Hey, my workbench. What the hell? B. I flew. B. Hitting like three chunks of stone at the same time. This is actually a good farm. Stomp. Yeah, look at that. So many numbers. This is actually really efficient if you get lots of numbers like that. And he's missing his chomp because he's dumb. Boom. Come right here, bro. Do it again. Stomp. Bam. It's a good stone farm. Not if he does that though. <sighs> Belly slam. Yeah. good. It's like a double rock. We need a log troll. Maybe we can try and get a log troll to come here. Get the giga stone farm. Might be a log troll in there, we don't know. Maybe there's a lot of troll in here. Take a look. More stones I get the better. 
if I'm gonna decorate the whole wall, it's gonna be at least 6,000 stone. spawn thing refreshes every hour or something so if we come back in an hour or whatever might have a guy there hey I think I got a lot though anyway. I think there's two rocks overlapping each other here. It's a really good spot for stone. Yeah, there is. Look at that. Wow. Crazy, huh? Giga stone. I think that's a third one. So when we were here, we were hitting three different rocks simultaneously, which is crazy. Giga freaking stone. As I'm on the car, he come over out of nowhere. This is bad. This is gonna go in the water. This one. <laughs> Get wrecked. Who's coming? Who's coming now? You. Can I rest while I'm mine, please? Yes. We'll need to hoe out the ground a bit before we shatter this bastard, otherwise it's gonna be a serious issue, you can see it, yeah, it's rolling away. Um, now here's what we'll do, we'll do what we did last time and lower this area. Weeeeeesh! Nice water, dude. And then we'll raise it where the water is as much as possible. Wee, because that's a serious disaster if it's going to be that high.
I want to build the base now before I progress further so we can actually like use it before the freaking series is over. That's the idea why I'm grinding it out now in one go pretty much. I think it's a good mindset. Like a boom. Indeed it did. So how much rolls into the water? Um a ton. That's a freaking disaster, yeah. That's really bad. That's a lot of stone that's lost forever. Yikes, dude. Hoeing the ground wasn't enough. Like, I can dive and try to get some of it, but... Oh, that's bad. It's like a waste. That's really, really bad, man. So I'll hit this a bit more then. a lot. Nice. Wow, it's a stack of 50. Oh shit, and didn't I leave a bunch up there? Or did I get that? I don't remember. Let's go back, and then we can finally do some building. Four minutes of rested. And I'll have Ike in a sec as well. <coughs> <coughs> Just 
go through the forest to avoid the bastard locks and I think. Did I leave the stone here or not? I can't remember. Where's the excavation sign? So, alright, well, there is four slots in there, so I think I can hold pretty much all of it. This is a massive yield. Another thousand. Let's take this. Drop the useless crap. Um, what am I stuck on? Oh, I'm encumbered. With what? There we go. Okay. Card isn't holding anymore. I can drop black metal coins. And I can take what? Okay, bringing back 979 stone. Not bad, dude. So I have about 2600 stone total. Now the thing is, because it's a four-sided thing, like once I do one side, it's really easy to replicate it on the other side. I don't think the building will take too long. I just have to sort out my tower. I might go through the freaking meadows. Well, no, because there's a huge amount of water. There's a really steep river that's going to be really annoying. It might make me go through the plains. I'm not sure. Hello everyone. Unless I can avoid it. Maybe this is better. Going like this. So it kind of evens out here. Yeah, we just go across here. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. Why not? for that wet buff to go because screw the wet buff <sighs> everyone's crazy by the troll. <laughs> He's still over there, right? Yep. 
He's just chilling in the water. Amphibious troll. Fair enough. Yeah, no portals. Definitely tough. For building nice things anyway. Push guys, yeah, that's it. Yeah, push. Definitely goes way faster when they're pushing. I like how that's actually a thing. The rock throwing isn't very cool though. Yeah, he's helping. That's it, guys. Stop the rocks. Almost there. Wow, three hours, 17, okay. Maybe I should just take a break. And just start a building on a new episode. Okay. Might be better, build with a clear mind. Said that last time. But we made a good start. And now we have, like, double the stone that we had before, and we've made a good start. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with our progress today. Not easy to farm stone without a portal, probably be way faster with a portal, obviously, but what can you do? Shop. Alright, that's a lot of stone. Oh, wonderful, it's gonna rain on me again. Be freaking serious. Oh, that's so annoying. 
yeah, we'll figure out. We'll have to figure out what we're gonna do with this. Where the fire's gonna go and everything. I think I will have the fire above, and have this floor be the kitchen. Not sure about where the stairs are gonna go, where the chimney's gonna go. That's a whole lot more to think about. Obviously, I have to redo this floor, but yeah, it's all right. It's a good start. Maybe I should just like set my bed up and stuff here. spot at the very least. But yeah, we'll take a break and I'll come back later. So thanks for watching and see you soon.